Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another Let's Draw. Uh, first, I want to say thank you so much guys for the support lately with all the new videos coming out. Uh, it really means a lot. And uh, so today, though, we're going to be looking at the Aloro Titan. Uh, another thing that I've noticed that we haven't seen too much in the toy line from Mattel are larger herbivores. I mean, we've gotten a few, like the Amargosaurus and the uh, Brachiosaurus, but uh, what I wanted to do is kind of get more of like the massive biter size, but for a herbivore, obviously it's not going to be a massive biter. But what I wanted to do is kind of get a large to medium sized uh, kind of herbivore to kind of compete with uh, the uh, just large amount of carnivores we already have. Uh, you'll notice though, <laughs> I, I mainly draw a lot of herbivores on my Instagram page and kind of uh, pterosaurs and stuff like that just because like I feel like I want to balance out the line a little bit more. We have so many carnivores as it is and it's great. But when I want to have like a really kind of a rounded out set of uh, both kind of carnivores, herbivores, pterosaurs, and also what I also make on my Instagram are uh, kind of marine reptiles. So just kind of have a, a, a very uh, not too many of one uh, type of uh, kind of dinosaur or ancient type of reptile, you would say. So anyways, though, with the Allura Titan, uh, as always, we start out with uh, kind of doing a bunch of reference material kind of going through just uh, especially well where I got the design is from Jurassic World Evolution obviously so just going around uh, just YouTube and watching videos of it kind of getting the sense of size compared to the other uh, kind of herbivores there and then also uh, just looking up just as many reference images as I can so uh, yeah uh, another thing before we get into the time lapse is I, I noticed that when it comes to certain herbivores, especially like the Triceratops, I have no idea why, but they made it a little bit smaller than it should have been. They were very close, but just like making the Triceratops just a little bit larger to, to kind of like scale up with that T-Rex would be a lot better in my opinion. And maybe that's something that they might do in the uh, next Dominion line. But I noticed with all the like uh, repeat uh, and repaints of uh, the Triceratops, they never kind of really changed the size. So something, uh, just like a minor complaint. But anyways, let's get to that time lapse. And here we go. So you'll notice during this whole time lapse, I actually had a lot of difficulty kind of mapping out the whole thing. Not because uh, just it was something too different than what I normally do. It was actually because I kind of wanted to change my style just kind of slightly. Uh, this was a few weeks back that I actually made this and I, I kind of wanted to mirror the, uh, the style of the Mattel designs that we got uh, kind of a while back posted onto the Jurassic Outpost. I'll put up some pictures here, but uh, it, they kind of have like a, a more kind of sketchy design and I was kind of been doing uh, a stylized approach. So I kind of want to match the two together uh, into my own kind of style, but also taking inspiration from Mattel's. And you'll see that um, after see, I actually made this whole thing, <laughs> I, I drew it out completely. And then there you go. You see that I, um, <laughs> I decided just to not just just completely rework the whole thing i kept the base kind of sketch line and then i i struggled a bunch with just like uh, getting the the right line work i tried a few different brushes this one actually i wasn't really too happy with the kind of the slight details of the uh outline so i actually redid the outline and i just had to go from there so could have could have gone a lot smoother if i just kind of decided on a, a certain kind of brush to use but I, I ultimately ended up finding one that kind of suited me. I think finally we're getting somewhere after all, just like redoing the head over and over and over, and over again, but <laughs> slowly getting through it. And, and overall it, it, it was kind of a turning point because I've changed the style of these designs a few different times. And these are actually uh, done, like I said, a few weeks ago, and it, it's changed a little bit since then as well. Just kind of getting more comfortable with uh, just what, what like, kind of makes it appealing to look at for me while also kind of staying true to being a toy design and rather not just like a a model or something like that so i ended up uh just completely reworking the whole kind of process i used to draw the dinosaur started off with a base coat here just just that whole thing in one color and then uh taking inspiration from those mattel designs it started blending things together and getting more of a gradient and kind of more of a almost a 
a design aspect to it, which I wanted. And then I also threw in a few other kind of uh, secondary colors into the first layer. And there you go, just keep on working. And then now what I wanted to do is create more of just like the uh, outline and the coloring, getting those Laura Titan colors from Jurassic World Evolution. And then I think over here, I was just trying to decide what I wanted to do for the crest. Then I ended up using the base colors for the the regular or lower titan from uh, the game and yeah putting uh, the finishing touches here just getting the eye and there you go uh the lower titan uh, i want to stay true to the colors from uh the game just because i feel like having tie-ins with uh, other media uh from jurassic world other official media is pretty cool and honestly jurassic world evolution has a lot of great designs for dinosaurs that haven't been featured in the movie and I i'm wondering if they would ever become canon and since I uh, kind of have it in that massive biter size, I want to keep it in that like with a similar action feature. So uh, the same thing where you control the uh, kind of uh, tail of the animal and then that kind of controls the top kind of neck and head kind of area for like a kind of a 360 attack. But for now, that's what we got. Uh, overall, uh, it was a really fun design. I, I want to show some older designs, even though I'm not too proud of them. I I've had... A lot of changes in my art style just because I've I've actually started digital art pretty recently only at the beginning of this year so I've been through a lot of just changes within my own art style and as it grows uh, I feel like looking back I always like oh those weren't too good but I still want to show them off and I still like the concepts behind them even though uh, my art style I would I would say has improved over the few months I've just kind of been just drawing non-stop especially with quarantine it gives you a lot of time to just kind of hone that craft but uh yeah uh hopefully though I, I can give you guys more updated drawings a lot of the past ones or the the only one that i've made so far has also been from previous i, I do have some upcoming drawings i mean i always do i, I post every other day on my uh instagram just kind of keeping a schedule that i can manage uh i did do every day for jurassic june but it was just a little bit too much i was kind of worried just like oh can i keep the schedule or not but I ended up keeping it. I had a drawing every single day of June, but as soon as June ended, I, I need a break. So uh, for now, it's just going to be every other day uh, unless just something happens or I, I like to put in the kind of gap days. I might put some anime or just like some other stuff that isn't Jurassic kind of content. Or uh, if something happens like that Alan Grant hat, I, I wanted to to make a just just a fun little picture for that. So if there's any Jurassic news, I might quickly sketch something up. But I do have like a good backlog and I've kind of been on top of things lately, especially just there's so much time to. So expect the drawing on Instagram every other day. And uh, it kind of alternates between uh, these Mattel designs to Jurassic Park kind of scenes and kind of anything else in between. Just I, I want to do more kind of paleo art. I just I love Jurassic Park so much. So I kind of keep true to the designs over there. But there's so much other inspiration out there when it comes to dinosaurs. I have done a few in the past, I, I, so I did like a, a, an accurate Spinosaurus back in the day and I kind of want to revisit that. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that I want to draw, I have all these ideas in my head, so uh, I'll get to them eventually. Um, I have just like, you'll notice just like a huge backlog of stuff and, and I want to make more. So anyways, I know it's just kind of rambling at this point, but hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, more to come. I'll try to get on a regular schedule with these videos as well. It's just sometimes I, I try to find the right inspiration for talking about certain uh, pieces that I've done and kind of going back to those. I hope you guys also like those toy videos. I'll, I'll get better at like kind of showing the toys off, but I want to have more of a discussion about them. So overall though, I, I'm really looking forward to the future of this channel, uh, like what I've been doing lately. So I, I, maybe for the next Mattel update or Mattel uh, design to come, I might do a more f uh, recent design just to see how like my design has uh, kind of changed over over the few months I've been doing this and give you like a more updated version. But uh, there are some really good designs that I've done in the past that just because they were like a good concept and a good species that I think they should really be made. I might revisit them in like a, a large video of just like old kind of Mattel drawings that might not be the best compared to what I've been making now, but uh, I want to show them off. So anyways, uh, just, uh, thanks again for watching. 
And uh, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know if there's something you want to watch or, or something you want to see, in, uh, like previous designs that you want to see on Instagram, my thoughts behind it. And yeah, thanks guys. <laughs>